What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this POV review by Autotop NL. My name is Max and today we are checking out this amazing BMW M5 CS by G-Power. We've got an EC remap, we've got turbos, downpipes and an exhaust and the total is 820 horsepower and 1000 newton meters of torque so that is pretty insane. Now let's take a look at those wheels these 20 inch lightweight wheels in gold bronze super super nice with around that Pirelli P0 rubber and ceramic brakes with the red calipers now they used to come with gold but on the CS you can choose between red or gold and I quite like the red because it contrasts nicely with the golden wheels we've got the gold bronze accent on the side here as well carbon mirrors carbon roof of course and then at the rear a more aggressive spoiler in carbon fiber nice g-power badge there and an m5 cs badge and the exhaust very nice carbon diffuser as well for the cs that is a nice rear end it just it, it looks so aggressive the cs so much i don't know the, the changes are not that big but it just looks like they shaved a lot of weight off the car you know before knowing that they in fact did that you can look at the car and it already looks lighter that's kind of what it feels like g power badge oh these m5s always the radiators keep blowing for so long anyway carbon engine cover there an m5 cs badge right there all carbon super beautiful uh, this is brand's hatch gray by the way and there were two other color options available uh, you can have frozen brand's hatch so that is a matte gray the same color and you can have a frozen dark green which is also very nice okay interior wise we've got the bucket seats from the m3 carbon fiber backed buckets very nice and then we've got two more bucket seats in the rear which is very cool cs logo on the center there as well and a lot of alcantara like the beautiful steering wheel and a carbon inlay here with a cs logo yeah the interior is very nice as well now mr mchorst face is not here so we can do a little wrap so we can close the valves close the valves this is closed very civilized valves open super nice dark sound now g power 820 horsepower 1000 newton meters of torque i've got the car in dsc off two-wheel drive mode which is you can check it out here m1 so you can see i put everything in sport plus and then the steering and comfort because it's lighter i like that better for hooning dsc off and two-wheel drive and my m2 is is four-wheel drive sport let's go for m1 because i want to show you what this thing can do it is completely bonkers So, second gear. <laughs> it does not need a lot of throttle input for sliding. Horses, I'm not going to go full throttle. But this car is so happy to spin its rear wheels and it is so easy to do, both in the sense that it, it's really easy to spin the wheels but it's also really easy to control it because uh, the m5 cs is just such a freaking gem of a car and the chassis is just amazing Entschuldigung. You wouldn't 
think, as I said, you wouldn't think the difference is that big between a regular car and an M5 CS, but it is. And then to have this amount of power, it, it really feels like you need an M5 CS to control this properly. It's just, I, if I move my big toe, the rear spin. Fourth gear, 100 kilometers an hour. Rear wheels go. <laughs> it is absolutely insane. There they go. Every time you hit the throttle, those rears spin. It is incredible. Now, of course, that is a lot of fun. But if you want to be fast, you need four-wheel drive sport. So let's do a little pull away. Oh. That is very, very quick. Now, stock, it does three seconds, but that is with launch control, of course. With this amount of power, I'm not going to do launch control. 1,000 newton meters on that gearbox is not going to end well. It's going to end with me in tears, probably, so. Oh, but it is so quick. Exhaust sounds really good as well. I really like the sound. It sounds, you, you can hear the turbo, you can still hear a V8, you can, you have a little bang on the upshift. Definitely an improvement. Well, it's not that hard to improve upon the sound, but. Woo. Yeah, yeah, it, it likes to go sideways, this car. So let's put that in drive in the most aggressive setting and pray for a gap. Not that you need that much space in this car, but now finally we've got a little bit of space. Oh man, it, <laughs> it gets up there so quickly. Unfortunately, it is Friday today, and that usually means a lot of traffic. And also traffic that normally you wouldn't find here. A lot of caravans and campers and stuff like that. So you have to be extra careful, but just the way it runs up to like 250 is incredible. So just put your foot down and the thing just takes off. The gearbox has definitely also been changed because the shifts are very quick and a little bit harder than they usually are. Tire pressure management, but tire pressures are all okay, so. Now, home stretch. If we are lucky, we have some space here. <laughs> on the right here in the BMW. And that is 316, something like that, in the G-Power M5 CS. Freaking beast of a car, holy moly. This thing is quick as hell. Oh. Man, now thank you very much for allowing us to drive your M5 CS. It has been my honor and a pleasure. You have a beast of a car, sir. Wow, this thing is incredible. The M5 CS, I loved it already. And then with 820 horsepower and 1,000 newton meters of torque, it is a beast. <sighs> nice. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. You can subscribe by clicking the big button in the middle. You can also check out this video on the right or this playlist on the left. See you at the next one. Bye.